This is the SML Podcast. I know I'm a terrible person. I have that song in my head now. <laughs> Put your hands up. <laughs> got it out too high. Got it figured out. Wanna do whatever. Laugh until September. <laughs> Yeah. And I sit and wonder, <laughs> fall it under, get my way or nothing will move on. Everyone has gone. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> you felt so empty, but I can't be a friend. <laughs> Is it summer? Yeah, cause I just don't feel it. Maybe it's a treason. Maybe you are not her. <laughs> I wonder if just singing it will like trigger the. If it copyright. does, I'm gonna fucking laugh my ass off. And then your phone explodes into a legendary. <laughs> my phone explode. My phone exploded. Exploded. <clears throat> When are they going to make Rock Band Lost Profits? When Roof, what's his rooftops fuck Rooftops is in the game. When what's his fuck gets out of jail for fucking children? <laughs> rooftops is in the game. Standing uh, on the rooftop. Nah, everybody that's such a bad, your heart it's, out. No, no. it's such a it's such a bad song. What's up everyone? This is Joe. I'm Chris. Thank you for starting. This is episode 91 of Small. Yep. Uh, we were supposed to have a guest. Couldn't make it. It's if cool. If you listen to last week's show, you know who it is, but oh well. It's cool. We got shit, shit, we got, we got shit to talk about. Yeah. Shit's going down. Yeah. There was a car fire. Things happened. There were multiple car fires, to be honest, because <laughs> you saw one today. We saw one. What was that? Sunday? Was that Sunday? Saturday. We saw one on Saturday in Jersey. Um, what well, something on fire in Jersey? I'm yes. shocked. Car, car, straight up inferno on the side of the road. Nice. Um, yeah, that was that was probably one of the most intense things that I ever saw in in RL. In RL, it was crazy. RL Stein. In RL, did it give Stein. you goosebumps? It did give me goosebumps. Yeah, I didn't get to see the actual fire; just the the remnants of what once was. Which is probably just as brutal. Yeah. And now you're going to start your hookah and then. Not yet. We'll get derailed once on again. <laughs> no, you'll hear it. <laughs> not that one. Not that sound. <laughs> We're not going for that sound. <laughs> what are you, grapefruiting? <laughs> oh my is that God. Good? My, my phone's going to be going up. Five messages in the past like Jesus. three minutes. Great. Read them on air. <laughs> Really? Is that what you want? It's our email. For is, the that week. Re- is that what you really want? You really don't want that. Why? <laughs> uh, here. All right. I'll entertain you. Since Dale's not here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wow. There is. There's a. Oh, my God. All right. Ready? Yes. Start. Oh, it's a, it's a group message. It's oh a, no! It's a group message. Oh no! Hold on! It's a group message from one of the bar cover bands that I play in. I have a gig with them on Saturday. Oh no! That's your backstory. Um, All you had to say was group message. Any any chance of hacking through lonely is lonely is the night on Saturday. A guy I work with suggested it, and it's and he's coming to the show. It's pretty easy. I even offer to sing it. Yikes! Um, who's oh, no. who's that by Billy Squire? Sorry for the delay, Mike. Work was nuts, and my mom fell. <laughs> if if the guys w- wanted, I'll do my best to learn the song for Saturday. Don't think Tommy gets these messages. Maybe call him or text him separately. 
Chris, question mark, question mark. Is your mom okay? <laughs> she's in <laughs> she's in pain in bed all day. She fell at the borough building voting yesterday. The handicapped walkway was uneven and was dark and the railing was loose, so she tripped and pulled something. See, voting is dangerous. We'll, we'll see how she feels. Fucking retards down there. Another lady fell before it and they never fixed it. Oh Assholes. The mayor and a councilman had to drive her home. They're going to fix it now. Figures. <laughs> that was. There you go. There's my text message. Nice. Joe. Are you going to reply? I'm in. Just read you on a podcast. Mm, I'm not replying shit until I'm done. <laughs> <clears throat> and after nine more messages come through. Uh, they'll just rumble on the desk and I will get to them eventually. Nice. Video games. <laughs> Video games. So uh, big, big news today from Very Nintendo. Uh, they had one of their amazing Nintendo Direct events. And because E3 is every month at Nintendo. Sometimes. Are you having fun playing yes. with the coals? I'm listening. <laughs> You're the uh, one with the iPad. And you've got the stuff in front of you. Yeah, it's all you. You have this. It's true. So uh, we'll just go down the email here and go in order. I don't. I don't know how exciting it'll be going this way, but that's okay. I'd I'm like lazy. to. Co- I'd like to cover everything that was covered because I don't know everything that was put in it. So. All right. Uh, do you want to start with Wii U, 3DS, or joint system news? Let's do. Let's do 3DS. All right. Uh, obviously, the big news out of the event yeah. uh legend is all the majora's mask 3d is coming it's about goddamn time indeed it is looking to come out in spring and da, 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 enhanced 3d graphics added features for a smoother game experience Sweet. and a moon that will once again haunt your nightmares for life did they did they spell it four and then l y f e i wish but i just added that myself for for life like nwo Life. Speaking of, not to get derailed too much. Too much. Did you pick up the new WWE? The game? Yeah. No. 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 I I don't really play the wrestling games too much. And from what I've heard, the last gen version, 360 and PS3, is incredibly disappointing. Like but- features removed. But graphics look like ass. But what about the new one? <laughs> That's not out yet. 18th. Yeah. I thought it was out already. Nope. 18th. Mm. Yeah. It got bumped. It got bumped? Yeah. Really? Probably to put a little more care and effort into it. Well, you hope. <laughs> no, I, I still don't think I'm going to pick it up. <clears throat> I don't know. I, mean, I still... <clears throat> man, I really wish that they would do a good wrestling game again. I know. We need to get Aki back. Because, I mean, like, I would love to play through a wrestling game where I can make my own created superstar and go through, like, a predetermined, not like a predetermined campaign, but, like, something where you can make decisions and it'll alter how the storyline plays out. Yeah. Kind of like, I, I forget the last uh, SmackDown versus Raw that did it, um, but. I don't know. I just think ever since they went to a unified game between the systems, it's been lackluster like back in the days they had smackdown smackdown on playstation, on PlayStation they had raw, raw on, on xbox, xbox. And day of reckoning on gamecube yeah and like the games were different they felt different they played different the raw ones were usually dog shit yeah like, the the animations were really weird i don't know but i i was really interested in getting it until i saw that the hulkamania edition sold out everywhere so i don't really care you really want Hulk memorabilia? An autograph of Hogan? Sure. Why not? I suppose. I mean, he... I just... The only thing that I'm honestly interested with in the new one is the fact that Sting's in it. Yeah. That's it. I'm just like... Oh, True. That'd be cool. And I like... To, like, the creative suite in those games are a lot of fun. And you know how much of a whore I am for creating characters yes. and shit, so... Back in the Tiger days... Where you would spend forty any, minutes. Any game that has a creative character that's slightly extensive, I'm going to spend time on. So, so back on track. What are Sorry. your thoughts on Majora's Mask? Um, Majora's Mask was one of my favorite uh, Zeldas. So that's 
I have obviously have to pick that Give up. Give us your no. thoughts on the game and your experiences with it because I have never played it. You never played it? Nope. Well, I mean, Ocarina I can't. Ocarina and Majora's Mask, I never got into because I didn't like the 3D Zelda games. Huh. Any of them. Even Ocarina 3D, I just, I couldn't get into it. I want my top down Zelda games. Hmm. Well, then you probably won't like it. And don't Wind Waker, I loved it because it felt like a Zelda game, even though it was in 3D to me. But See, I don't know. Zelda, I just, I don't, Ocarina of Time felt like a Zelda game to me. It felt like the Super Nintendo one almost. I, j- I just couldn't get into it. I've tried. I just, I don't know. Because, I mean, like, those two, those two are my favorite. Honestly, those two are my favorite, and then Link to the Past. So, for me, Link's Awakening is still number one. This is the Game Boy one? Yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely, that's probably right after Link, uh, Link to the Past for me. Yeah, it's, no, it's really number good. one for me because compared to Link to the Past, it just felt like Link to the Past drug on a bit too much. Yeah, but it was a bigger game. Yeah, but Link's Awakening, it just felt like the perfect length. I, well, I mean, it's 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 probably reminiscent of original Zelda. Yeah. So. I remember playing through that. Plus, I had the first release of it where you could hit the select button to bring up the map when you change screens, and it would oh. glitch you across to the other side. Oh wow! Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Could I break the fuck out of the game that way. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Like those, the two sixty-four Zeldas were that. Like those are my favorite ones, and I and I honestly think, and I covered this a little bit last. Was it last week when we talked Halloween? Yeah. Um, I mean, Majora's Mask was it's fucking creepy. Like, there's yeah. a lot of creepy parts in it. So it's definitely like I I liked the storyline more. It was slightly darker. I'm, you know, I even I like darker storylines without it being like a horror game, <laughs> <laughs> um, like Shadows of the Damned and and yeah and stuff like that. Um, so you're a damn. I mean, like I I I liked the storyline. I thought it was cool. I liked a lot of the characters. The, the the design of it was cool. The look of it, like overall, like art style and everything like that, was cool. I I. In, I can't say enough good things about it. I know a lot of people that are pumped up for this specific one. Yeah, people are going nuts over Majora's Mask. That's beca- honestly, man, like between the two, I th- I feel like Majora's Mask had more character. Th- like Probably. that, w- that w- like it just had more. It had more appeal as uh, as a more methodical Zelda title. Yeah, I've yeah. heard so much good about it. I'll probably pick it up and give it a shot. Finally, but we'll see. At least try and get past the moon. Past the moon. You mean after it crashes into me, just jump over it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing I am jealous of is that Europe is getting a badass collector edition that of it. The collector's edition is fucking crazy. And because we live in America, it's almost guaranteed that we will not get it. And why is that, Joe? Because we're America. No, no, no. Why? Why? And Japan hates us. Because... Bombed them all those years ago. Europe That's, didn't bomb them. And they're getting collectors they get editions. Collectors editions. So we ask collectors editions. So your your assumption is we don't get collectors editions from Nintendo because we bombed them, and we're still filthy Americans with our big American penis. But <laughs> Americans do spend a You're lot of money. Jim Pokemon, right? Yeah. Big big American penis. Big American penis. So um, big. So big. So big. Uh. We do spend a lot of money on their products. <laughs> like, yeah, we do. And that's why I'm kind of like, uh, and we would probably spend a whole lot more if they, if gave, they gave us, us more stuff. stuff. Yeah, but uh, I whatever. don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't represent Nintendo Japan, so I can't tell you the answer to that. But I thought you did. Well, you were sadly mistaken. Oh well. Anyway, a uh, new game was announced called Code Steam. It's from Intelligent Systems, the guys who've done Fire Emblem and Advance Wars. It is a turn-based tactical action RPG that (gasps) features characters like Abraham Lincoln. That's right. Abraham Lincoln leads a team of newly revealed playable characters like Tiger Lily and Tom Sawyer. Each character in the game possesses special abilities like Tiger Lily's healing and Tom Sawyer's gadgets that help players complete missions across well-designed battlefields. I really hope it's like Advance Wars because that's what it's kind of sounding like. Well, it is an action RPG, so it 
Yeah, but they uh, they did say turn based. Yeah. I don't know. It just action RPG to me seems more like a hack and slash. Yeah, but like that can't be turn based. Fable. I don't know. They might be doing something different with it. Maybe it will be a hybrid of that and Advance Wars. Maybe just give me Advance Wars. Maybe again. it's like a turn based strategy game, and then when you attack someone, it goes into like action mode. That'd where be you cool. Run and murder. I'd be fine with that. McMurder. I'd be absolutely okay with that. Yeah. Launches exclusively for 3DS in spring. So a lot of these a lot of these announces uh, announcements are for spring. Yeah, pretty much. That's cool. Uh they are talking more about uh NES Remix Ultimate or Ultimate NES Remix which comes out December 5th, so there's something for this holiday. For 3DS? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. The two NES Remix games on the Wii U. Yeah. They're combining them. Uh, let's see. Combining 16 of the top games from NES Remix 1 and 2. Uh, Famicom Remix mode offers challenges from the Japanese version of NES Remix, featuring slightly different sound effects and backgrounds. And they have created something new called Speed Mario Brothers, where you play through the original Super Mario Brothers in super speed. I want it. Yeah. So in, <laughs> instead of I want instead I want of it. Super Luigi Brothers that was in NES Remix Two, yeah. where you played the original Super Mario Brothers, but as Luigi, going left instead of right. That's fucking weird. So it's completely flipped. Damn it, Luigi! But, why you got to make everything weird? <laughs> but instead of that, you're getting a super speed version instead. That'd be cool. Also has online leaderboards, so. So that, that's cool. like if any of your friends get the game, like Global Smash Power. Yeah. Which I still don't even know what the fuck that is. Me neither. I just <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like, whatever. I don't even know if it's it, like is is the is it better if the number's high or lower? <laughs> like I don't even know. <laughs> I don't understand. Me neither. <sighs> uh, still no news on the new. 3ds coming out oh right right right. the newer system with yeah. the other yeah, the yeah yeah japan gets this year obviously because we japan. don't yeah because they hate us and for some reason australia and new zealand get it too that's but, just for zach yeah but no america they literally did it just just for zach zach, zach went to some sort of like convention or something bumped into some sort of like japanese nintendo dude and like hey man hey dude Hook, hook a brother up. Too bad it's region locked and he won't be able to play any American games on it. Oh, fuck. That's which Nintendo has been discussing eliminating region lock, which would be a very, very smart move. And it would be the coolest thing ever, actually. Yeah, because there'd be only people still region locking their shit, which is dumb. Is the Wii U region locked, too? Yes. That's dumb. Yep. That's stupid. He's so stupid. Yeah. Big American penis. Big American uh, November 25th, instead of a new 3DS system, we're getting just a new design. Wait, uh, is, it, is that the NES one? No, that the NES one's out. That's already out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, November 25th is the Persona Q Nintendo 3DS XL. I don't even know what that looks like, actually. No, you should look it up. It's pretty cool looking. I mean, I, I'm not a Persona guy, so I wouldn't be into it anyway, but... yeah. Anywho. But it will be a GameStop exclusive. Shocking. And will obviously run one ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And then the game also comes out and it's sold separately. And you could get either the Persona Q Wild Cards Premium Edition or the Limited Standard Edition, which doesn't make sense. Is it limited or standard? Limited Standard Edition. Yes. For a limited time. Oh, okay. So it's limited, so it is standard, but limited. limited. Okay. So it's a limited, limited, standard, limited, not unlimited. Standard. Standard edition. Okay. I follow that completely. I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's jump to the Wii U here. Wii U, Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. Wii U, Wii U. Uh, the big news from Wii U. Mario Kart DLC next week. Yay. Yay. I can't wait. Which one, which ones is it? Is it the, the uh, Zelda, Zelda the... F Zero Excite Bike? Oh, the Excite Bike one comes out too. Yep. Fuck. Yep. November thirteenth. So I need them. get ready to drive Excite Bike style. 
Do, 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 do. Isn't that map procedurally generated too? I think so. Somebody told me that. It looked like every every time that they showed an area, it was, it was different. different. Yeah. So if it's random every time, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. That'll be default map all the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> procedurally me- generated Mario Kart. And we finally reached the future. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, they talked about some of the e- Amiibo integration in Mario Kart. I'm very interested in this. Uh, when players tap Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Captain Falcon, Fox, Samus, or Kirby figures to the controller, they will receive a Me Racing suit themed to that character. So you can change your Me Racing suits finally? Yeah. That'll be cool. I'm sad that Pikachu's not on that list. Well, Pikachu's not in the game. So? Either Samus. Or Captain Falcon. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Or Fox. Or Kirby. Those f- bastards. I want a Pikachu suit. I want to race as Pikachu. <laughs> Pika. That's what I want to do. Pika. Actually, I would much rather race as Charizard. You'd rather race as my dick. You are incorrect, sir. Nope. Incorrect. Uh, they also talked about some more Amiibo features. Uh, you can use every Amiibo figure in Hyrule Warriors. That's nuts. Yeah. Uh, a Link Amiibo figure gives players a special spinner weapon from, I think... <laughs> Give them six spinners, bro. I think from Skyward Sword. Oh. Something like that. Okay. I didn't play the... I didn't play the Wii ones. I yeah. still have to get the fucking Wind Waker one for the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I... Because I have that, that buy two, get one free coupon yeah. for pre-owned. I, one of them might be that. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. You can. You might be missing out on value there. I thought it was still like forty some dollars. Really? Pretty sure. Because retail was forty when it first came out. It might be thirty something still. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is a Nintendo game. Yeah, so I'm. I might be missing out on value though. But yeah, Link will give you the spinner weapon, where every other figure will grant randomly selected materials, weapons, or rupees in the game. Neato. So you can make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain, bitches. Uh, They announced some other games that are going to be compatible. Captain Toad will be compatible with Amiibos. Uh, Kirby. What What, what could you possibly do in that game? Who knows? Maybe unlocks extra levels or. That'd be cool. Uh, Lost my spot. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, Yoshi's Woolly World, and Mario Party 10 will all have. Amiibo integration. Oh, Mario Party <laughs> Amiibos. That'll be cool. I forgot about Mario Party. Fuck. Yeah. When does that come out? I don't know. Just says 2015. Okay. So that just got announced too then? Or did well, I no, just it's, miss that? It's, it's been, been known out. that it's coming. Okay. I don't think they've ever had a set date. But they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't reveal anything about it yet, did they? They just showed it like a first trailer for it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So nothing like extensive. Fuck you, Party Ten is coming out. Yep. Until they make Dokupon Kingdom Two, I'm I'm not. Yeah, I don't think that's ever coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they talked more about Splatoon. I can't wait for that game. It looks so much fun. Yeah. Uh, the four on four online multiplayer shooter also fe- features a single player mode, which pits a player's squid like inkling character against an army of octopi equipped with an arsenal of ink weaponry. So it's going to be like a horde mode. So it sounds like it's batshit insane, which I'm excited about. Sweet. And it is scheduled for second quarter 2015. So that'd be spring, right? Yeah, pretty much. Would you lump, you wouldn't lump like winter, uh, like this winter into quarter one of next year, like would you? January through March, I would assume is quarter one. Yeah, that makes sense. April, so May, like June, April to quarter April two. To, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Got crap in my throat. Got it. Uh, they talked a bit more about Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, they didn't really say too much about it. It's going to have a bigger world than Xenoblade on the Wii, and it is scheduled to launch in 2015. <laughs> scheduled to launch 2015. Yay, being vague. Scheduled to launch 2015. Yes. Uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Uh, the newest game in the Charming Kirby series finds the lovable pink puffball during journeying through a world made of clay. Neat. Uh, uh, players, Dude, Epic Yarn was good. 
Every Kirby game is good. Yeah. It's just like they keep finding different gimmicks for him. And they work. True. I'm totally fine with it. Uh, players gir- guide Kirby along a rainbow line drawn on the gamepad. A new four-player multiplayer mode lets one player play as Kirby and the others focus on drawing the rainbow lines. Uh, no, Kirby and focus on drawing the lines where the others control a trio of Waddle D characters that can collect items or carry Kirby around. Neat. That'd be so cool. Play volleyball with Kirby. Yeah, essentially. And that one actually has a more concrete date. Which is? February. Nice. Yes. So that's coming soon. Uh, Captain Toad. They talked about that a bit more. Uh, features different challenges that once completed will reveal additional content in the game. And there's over 70 levels in the game. That's a lot. And that, of course, launches December 5th. Man, there's so, so much stuff coming that out. That is coming soon. Uh, something else for the Wii U on the virtual console. Ready? Duck Hunt. That's cool. Yes. And you'll need a Wiimote. Well, yeah, because you'll to go use it. Psh, psh, on the screen. I need I need the, the pistol attachment. <laughs> I'm not going to... like. I will not play House of the Dead or any of the on-rail shooters until I get those pistol attachments, which I, get, which I should be able to find at like a Fight Below or something like that. So Probably. Should be able to find it at Fight Below. I'd think so. Uh, Pikmin short movies are coming. It's a series of animated short films that Miyamoto directed that take place in the Pikmin universe. Cool. Uh, they are available as one paid download in the eShop on Wii U and 3DS. And as a supplement to the movies, a free demo of Pikmin 3 is now available. Cool. A free demo. I already have the full game. It's free. I have the full game. Yeah, but now you could get a demo, too. Why would I have a demo of a game that I have full? F- Why not? Because that's dumb. It's free, and you're just rejecting it. I am. You're so fucking greedy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Blah. Blah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, any, Wii U, any other Wii U stuff? Uh, Sonic Boom, a free demo for Sonic Boom. Oh, when does that start? Is launching on the 11th. Or no, the game's launching the 11th. The demo is available now. Oh, I might have to might have to check that out, actually. And Sonic Boom Rise of the Lyric will have, which is the Wii U game, uh, Shattered Crystals, the 3DS game. The Wii U game will have a demo available December 4th, for some reason, despite it launching November 11th. Uh, Dumb. I don't fucking know. Uh, in addition, a new 3DS home menu theme and god damn it. What? Puzzle swap. Another one? Yes. Are they not talking about they're not talking about um Fantasy Life? No, it's Sonic Boom. Motherfuckers. Yeah, on the eleventh. They'll be hitting. God damn it. I'm never gonna finish it. Nope. I'm never going to finish it. No, you never will. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, but yours is done. No, no it's I'm not. I'm still working on Fantasy one. Life. Yeah, Fantasy Life, yeah. And then I'm going to have to work on Sonic. Fuck. God damn it. This is your fault, Chris. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Just reading this I'm live. Very ups- I'm very upset. Th- this is the exact moment that we got this news of a new puzzle swap panel. Fuck. God, God damn it. Fuck. Terrible. <sighs> that seriously pisses me I off. I know. Like, I don't God even want to continue <laughs> continue reading. He's going to start raging on fucking puzzle pieces. God damn puzzle swap. Fuck. All right. Smash Brothers for the Wii U is going to have a Commander video trophy from the Bit Trip series. Cool. Which is pretty awesome. As well as download a new Nintendo 3DS home menu theme based on Shovel Knight. Oh, that'll be cool. So I might pick that one up. I have to. Um, I still have to play through that game. And then they announced a bunch of indie games coming to Wii U and 3DS. A bunch? Yep. Any notable ones? Uh, let me see here. Runbo. I don't know what that is. Chromo 4, the Two Brothers Director's Cut. Two Brothers was pretty good. So that should be pretty good. Uh, Citizens of Earth from Atlas. It's an Atlas game. I'm interested. Yep. The Swapper, Thomas Was Alone from Curve Digital, who also just released uh, 
God, what the f- Stealth Incorporated Two? Okay, they, that just came out. Uh, let's see, Chariot is coming, which was just released on Xbox One okay. last month as a free game. Gunman Clive Two, Steam World Heist, Gone Home, A World of Keflings, Treasure Knots. World of Keflings is um pretty popular, isn't it? Yeah. The Keflings games are pretty big on Xbox. Yeah. Uh, Treasure Knots, Swords and Soldiers 2, Sports Ball, which I love the name of that. Sports Ball. And uh, Rive from Two Tribes. There's a couple others, but I don't okay. recognize any of them really. That's cool. So, yeah, Nintendo. Sweet. Nintendo news. What about the shared stuff? That was... Oh, that was the shared yeah. stuff? Okay. Yeah, the Sonic, because it was on both, both. systems. And then it just transferred. Like, Themes and... Pikmin movies and various games. Cool. Nintendo. Nintendo. Um, there's other stuff for us to talk about, too. What would you like to talk about? Um, so Captain Boner. There was some there was some other stuff that was uh, confirmed about the next gen version of uh, Grand Theft Auto. Indeed. It, it was rumored for quite a while, but was just confirmed recently. Yeah. And I saw the trailer of it and it looks. I didn't awesome. even watch the trailer. Dude, of it. you have to watch. I, I kind of just want to be surprised by it. You will be pleasantly surprised. You will be very pleasantly surprised. And here's the one thing that I how, actually. How about we reveal what it is? For <laughs> first person mode. Yay. Yeah. First person Grand Theft Auto. We're just dancing around it and not actually, not actually not saying not what was saying confirmed. <laughs> um, yeah, first person Grand Theft Auto. So this should be really, really interesting on the next gen. Because with all the added, like all the added um, uh, texture details and 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 character mappings and everything like that, it's going to look way, way better. Yeah. Which you can already tell from the videos. Like it looks oh yeah gorgeous, big time. Um, all the animals and and all that nonsense and the thing that I'm really interested about it is you can actually customize the gameplay and the controls depending on when you want first person to actually jump in. So you can have it where it's first person until you like take cover behind something and then it'll swap to third person. That's cool. Yep. And then on top of that, you can have it where it's like you can have different control schemes depending on when you're in first person and in third person. So you can have your standard like, you know, tap A to run like constantly when when you're in third person or you can have it play you could essentially change all of the um the controls around to be like a first person shooter where you click the thumbstick in to run and then that's awesome yeah so you, you can you can really fuck with it and it's cool like even just like you know instead of when you're in third person you bring up the phone it essentially just brings it up in the corner of the the screen and kind of does it as an overlay but if you're in first person like your character brings their phone out and you just and they're just holding <laughs> their phone up so you That's have to awesome. kind of like read it off of the phone so it's like the little stuff like that that i think is just really really fucking cool with it that so, looks like they're actually putting care into well see and that's the thing they did completely different character animations for when they're in first person so like little stuff where it's like if you leave your character idle like they'll crack the, like they'll put their hands in front of them and like crack their knuckles or like you know stupid shit like that that's awesome the interiors of all the cars are different yeah i guess so, they have to be so like certain like the 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 higher priced like luxury cars like if you're listening to the radio like it'll show the artist and the track in, nice. the, in the dashboard of the radio of the car so like yeah dude it, it looks fucking awesome i'm really really excited for it that's pretty awesome yeah and then like even just like if you're driving in a car let's say you know you're trevor and you're driving in a car and michael's trying to talk to you like instead like you look over and they're like talking to you nice so it's like it's not just you know they're not just idly like looking forward you know doing whatever like they actually like interact with you as it would be first person so it's it looks badass dude i can't wait to play like that so maybe i'll actually get further through it this time i finished the game so if i like if i end up picking up a comp uh, 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 a copy on next gen it's probably going to be primarily for online play yeah so which that alone i'm interested to see how that's going to turn out on next gen because 
Didn't GTA they bump on, it from eight to sixteen players on. I think or so. Yeah. Which at first, when I was like, uh, eight players for GTA Online, that's probably not enough." Until I actually play it online, and I'm like, eh, "Maybe this is enough." <laughs> like, <laughs> but now it's going to be sixteen. And it's like, "Oh my god!" Too no, many it's people. Me and seven assholes. I think yeah. I have enough assholes in this game. Yeah. So now it'll be you and fifteen other assholes. Yay! More all, assholes. All trying to murder you just because they can murder you. Double the assholes. Yay! It's yeah, dude, it, it looks good. Asshole a palooza. So. Asshole a palooza. Indeed. Um. So yeah, that looks cool. Um, I'm interested to see how that's gonna play out. Play on, player. Speaking of next gen, uh, of next you're gen. apparently getting close to close. joining. I'm getting close. I'm I'm at I'm at like 260 on trade credit, which I'm probably gonna take 20 of it out to do DLC for Mario Kart. <laughs> Grab a Nintendo card. Uh huh. Um, you might be able to just buy a 15 dollar card. I don't know I, if you can. I thought I said, I don't know. Maybe I don't think just, you can. I think it's just 10, 20, 50. Or is it 25? God damn. I hate, I hate that they change these all the time. It might be 20. 20 seems right. Yeah. But so, you're, you're still getting close. I am. I'm getting close. I'm eerily close. Um, and that's not include, like I already have my copy of um, the Wii U version of Smash like completely paid off. Yeah. So that's another 60 bucks that you can move over if, if I deem necessary. Yeah. So if it starts getting like, if I start getting really close, like really, really close and I'm, and I just, I, I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how the next couple weeks go. Um, cause I've been able to get some decent trades in, um, for trade credit. So obviously I'm going to have to go through GameStop cause it's all GameStop trade credit, but. Yeah, because the other thing is too is I haven't even checked to see um, if I have enough points for any kind of coupons. True. So I wonder if I can get enough points together. I forget how many points you need for like a fifty dollar off. Fifty bucks or fifty thousand points. Fifty thousand bucks off. I'm gonna have to look and see how many I have. Yeah, they pretty much translate to dollars when it comes to money off new stuff. Okay. You could get cheaper on used. Like you might find ten dollars off a used game for eight thousand points or something, but yeah, for the most part, it just translates over. Well, now this is the other thing too. I'm I'm debating on because I've got I have to see when the coupon um, expires, but I still have a buy two get one free um, pre owned coupon yeah. from when I renewed my card. So I obviously want to try and use that for. Um, Xbox One games because I'll be able to utilize the value more. Um, but then that also means I'm going to have to save up more so that I can actually use, like, actually use the coupon. Yeah. So we have to pay for two games. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll see. Because one of them one of them's obviously going to be Diablo. Um, yeah, kind of has to be. Yeah. So one of them's going to end up being Diablo. I think another one's probably going to end up being. Um, Forza Horizon 2. Okay. And I don't know. What would the third one be? Halo? They won't be. Well, it might be pre-owned by the time I use it. Depends. When does that come out again? Next week on the 11th. <coughs> that's Holy fuck, that's soon. Yep. Comes out Tuesday. Jesus Christ. Tuesday All right. Well, then, day. yeah, I guess that would be it. <laughs> like The same day as uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. And Lego Batman. Fuck. And Assassin's Creed Rogue. When does GTA come out? The 18th. Fuck. Same day as Far Cry. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't... All right. You so, know it's November, right? <laughs> God damn it. All right. You, you so remember then, what happens in November. Well, then, Joe, if I... All right. So let's have, a, let's, have a slight, let's have a slight discussion. This is something okay. we can talk about. If you had a buy two, get one free coupon, and you were getting an Xbox One... What three games would you suggest? Oh fuck me! Right. So, uh, but n- now let's just say you weren't gonna buy your Xbox One until Black Friday. So that way that there's huh. a, there's more games that are out. So we'll just say after after like Far Cry and 
GTA could come out. If I had to pick only three, I would probably say now let's let's pick the let's pick the console too because there's bundles. Well, I don't think so, you're getting a sunset bundle. If I had an opportunity to. If you had an opportunity, I'd say to get that one, but I really think that you're going to end up having to settle for Assassin's Creed, which is good because you get two games right off the bat. True. And then you don't have to worry about Assassin's Creed anymore. Right. Which, which I do. I do really. I, I, I think I'm going to want Unity just because the multiplayer looks. Yeah. The four player online co-op, yeah. which, which I, I mean, do want to try. And the other thing is, too, is I, I have been putting off playing Black Flag flag because i wanted to black what? flag black what? flag i've been putting that you called me the racist the other week and shut up you're the homophobe <laughs> racist homophobe apparently um God i've been it. putting off playing that because i want to play it on next gen because it yeah. looks awesome on next gen so i mean i think realistically my value is probably going to come from the assassin's creed bundle probably that's probably the best bet to go yeah uh I think the sunset bundle, like when you look at the value, the sunset bundle is good. But if you're looking for more content, I would just, I would still go with the Assassin's Creed bundle. Yeah, I think that's probably because be you're the getting way. two games, one brand new. Right. For, I mean, you could always pick up sunset later unless you need to have a white Xbox. See, and that's one. the thing. I don't you need fucking to, racist. I don't need to have a white because um, none of my other systems are white except for, except for my Wii U. Yeah. But I guess I would go no, with my the, Wii U, my regular Wii. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess I would go with the the Assassin's Creed bundle. Okay. Uh, and only three games. Only three games. Only three. Uh, Halo, I think that's a must. Because I think so, too. You're getting four games. Yeah, I think that's... And, I've, and I haven't played through... I don't, think I, I don't think I played through four. I have three because it was free with gold. Yeah. But I never played through it. And I... I don't think I actually played through two. I think the only one that I played from start to finish was one. Yeah, I and think, and reach. I think one and possibly two have two player online co op. I know three and four both have four player. That'd be sweet too. Yeah. That'd be cool. Me, you, Pappy, someone else. That'd be yeah. That'd be awesome actually. Maybe Josh. Uh, but Halo. Josh is, has one. Yeah, Ooh. he has a bone. There he got go. his back when Titanfall came out. Oh, okay. Which I wouldn't put Titanfall on the list. I wouldn't either, actually. Uh, I could probably, honestly, at the video game store, like we only pay, out, like we only pay out like eight or ten bucks for it. Yeah, I was gonna say like <laughs> Amazon has it on sale today for twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm trying to narrow it down to just two other games. It's fucking tough. You've got your action adventure with Assassin's Creed. You have your shooter, mm-hmm. uh, RPG. I would go either Diablo, I, I, which is you could probably start getting that cheaper and cheaper now. If that starts dropping in price, which I haven't seen it drop, yeah, it still stay like like. I think we still sell it for like forty bucks. Hey, yeah. So either that or Dragon's Age, but I never played any of the Dragon Age games. Yeah, I guess for you because it's you I, Diablo, me Diablo, like that's. And I then, have to. And then I guess you would have to flip a coin when it comes to Forza and Grand Theft Auto. It's like... Wh- I guess I would have to get Forza. I, I would probably say Forza over Grand Theft Auto because Grand Theft Auto is a mix of Assassin's Creed. Well, and I've actually... And, and I've already played <laughs> GTA. Yeah. So I would have a, a more varied game library. Yeah. Which I'm going to have to get Killer Instinct too. Yeah. Which is, if you just got the standard editions, it would be forty bucks for the two seasons. But if you wanted like the classic arcade stuff and everything, that'd be forty each. Ugh. I think if I just went with the characters, I'd be happy. Yeah, I think because the game itself is fucking solid. Yeah. So I'd have a fighting game. I'd have. Well, yeah, but that's. I mean, I could technically at least just download the game and just have it yeah. play. And play a different character each week. Right. <clears throat> Which I would have no problem doing. Yeah. Until uh, I get the char- characters and stuff. Because that's obviously going to be a game that I have to get all the content for. Because yeah. that's, that's one of my favorite fighting games. Uh, one game I would recommend you avoid 
Destiny. Destiny is pretty much officially on my shit list. I saw this. Explain. Uh, first of all, I guess Sony wasn't happy enough with having their exclusive launch content with like the extra strike and <laughs> whatever else. Yep. Special weapons. I, I don't know. Uh, with the DLC, with the season pass or the expansion pass for the first two, uh-huh. Xbox is losing content. Really? Yes. We're paying the same exact price for the DLC. But you're not getting... But Sony has a year-long exclusive on a strike and some other, I don't like, runs or bounties. I, I don't know. But they have an exclusive over like a quarter of the content. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. So they're paying the same price and we're losing out on a chunk of content. I feel like... I feel like Destiny is going to end up dropping anyway in price. So I, I, I would wait to pick that up anyway. And it's, by the it's time, just shitty. That, and by the time it actually drops to a, a, a more reasonable price in which I would be fine picking it up, uh, do you think anybody's even going to want to still play it? I don't know. I don't even know like how long Activision and Bungie plan on supporting Destiny 1. Because apparently they're already working on Destiny 2. Which, again, is horseshit because they said that they were going to support the first one for 10 years. Yeah, it was supposed to be a 10-year plan, but they're already working on Destiny 2. They can't release a finished game, which is so much content is just missing out. So much DLC is on the disc already. Yeah. And they're already working on a second game. Yeah, so I call shenanigans. Bungie has definitely burned me, which is a shame because they've always been solid in the past. But maybe it, it was Nintendo that kept their ass in check. Or no, maybe... What am I saying, Nintendo? Microsoft. It was Microsoft keeping Bungie's ass in check. And now that they're no longer uh, keeping them in line and Activision got their hands on them, they just went to shit. Went to poop. Which is absolutely possible. Yeah. So, and it's sad, too, because when you look at games coming out this fall, after the fizzle out of Destiny really quickly, because people, yeah. got, people got bored oh, of people it got bored after of it in a month. They Dude, were already I, tired of it. I got people trading it in literally the next day. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. So, I mean, now, granted, I've already had people trading in copies of um, Advanced Warfare. Yeah. There's some dumb people that will buy a game when as soon as it comes out and then trade it in the next day. So, speaking of dumb people, I bought Call of Duty. I don't don't call yourself dumb, dumb until you get through it, and and give your let, honest opinion. Let me it. repeat this for that all of nothing. our listeners out there. Listen, listen. No, no, no. I need I need to get this out. Okay. After I almost two years of doing this podcast and shitting on call of duty as much as I possibly can. We've talked about it in the past of how this new one looked intriguing. Yes. I bit the bullet and I bought it. Have you played it? Yes. What are your thoughts so far? Campaign so far. I haven't played that. I played the first level in campaign twice once because I was still learning. Okay. And the second time just so I could like, kind of yeah, like, get what I've learned and try it again without right. fucking everything up. And it was enjoyable. I'm hoping to play more of the campaign. Okay. I played online. That was probably a mistake for you. Fuck all of that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I wouldn't yeah. see anyone or anything and just I'm dead <laughs> out of nowhere. I'm dead. And then I see their replay and they're like apparently directly in front of me. Or close enough where they're like I should know that they're there, and you and just don't after know. what I think is one bullet that kills me, they're dropping like an entire clip into me somehow. Well, let me put it to you this way: <laughs> playing Call of Duty online, I the probably the first thing that you would have to do is you'd have to learn the maps. Mm-hmm. Like any any first person shooter, I mean, with the exception of certain Halo multiplayers, because I didn't know the maps well in that, but I was still able to do okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of like Call of Duties, Battlefields, stuff like that, you absolutely need to know the map. Mm-hmm. You have to. Oh, I know. So you probably wouldn't enjoy it until you've 
actually learn the maps. Um, aside from that, well, that and I'm just not that great at, at first Twitch person aiming, right? So that's why I prefer doing campaign stuff or co-op stuff. Right now, let me ask you this: There's a campaign. There's multiplayer. Is there any kind of co-op horde modey like? I don't. I don't know what it is. I know there's a co-op something. Okay, but I don't have anyone to play it with, so I don't know what it is. Okay, but well, there is some kind of co-op mode on there. I don't know if it's like just two guys running through a separate campaign, or if it's a horde mode style game, or what. Uh, I do want to try it if I could find someone to play with, which now that I've come out of the closet is owning Advanced Warfare. <laughs> maybe someone listening will be like, oh my God, if it actually convinced Joe to play it, maybe I should give it another shot. Um, well, and that's the thing. I would consider giving it a shot. Yeah. I, I would. And I've, you know, I've talked about Call of Duty games in the past, and I know that there's a huge stigma against call of duty games we've gone over it plenty of times i have enjoyed call of duty games in the past not all of them we already know why that you know we're not gung-ho about the series yeah um but like this game felt more like halo i've heard a lot of people actually compare some of the 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 gunplay and the combat to like a destiny halo i i could even go out on a limb and what i've played of campaign so far Mm -hmm. it's titanfall without titans but with it with a campaign because it has the double jump like the boost right it just it feels it doesn't feel like the call of duties i've played before well yeah i mean obviously they they made some big differences as far as the gameplay is concerned so it's going to feel a little bit different so maybe some people will and end up enjoying this one more than past iterations so maybe i I, I haven't made it uh, hair on the mic i haven't made it as far as i want to yet okay but that's because there's so much other shit out right now yeah there is i absolutely would like to find someone to co-op the campaign or whatever the co-op is in the game whatever co-op i don't don't know man because there's just so many other games that like because i I feel like we've already gone over what we think my picks would be for my for my three games oh i wouldn't expect that to be one of your picks it wouldn't be one of my picks right like it was just a perfect storm of this is available right now. We have the money for it. Might as Before well. we miss out, let's just do it. Because right. I did go with the limited edition. The day zero? Well, the, the day zero was just the launch version. I'm talking about like the okay. $79.99 oh, okay. limited edition that had an art book, soundtrack download, which I still can't figure out where the fuck to redeem it. <laughs> no, like it gives yeah. you a website to go to and there's nothing on the website about redeeming a code. Weird. Okay. Uh, Steel Book, which I am an absolute whore for. Right. And some other bonus DLC that I'll probably never use because it's all multiplayer shit. Okay. But I understand. Yeah. I, I don't actually, know. I, I def- I, I, I'm curious to see what it's like because there has been Call of Duty campaigns that I enjoyed in the past. So, yeah. I mean, it. I, I think the campaign alone I would probably enjoy. Can you believe so, the limited edition for that was sold out everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere. The on, the only reason I was able to get it was because the Microsoft store had it. Well, and the funny thing is, is that's not even the most expensive oh, I know. collector's edition. Those sold out within hours. Well, the, the only difference between them is the more expensive one has the season pass. Right. That's the only difference. And I obviously don't need you a season pass. You don't need a season pass. At all. Because I'll be surprised. I'm well... I might not be surprised if you hold on to it. I might not, honestly. What, the game? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see how I do after the campaign and yeah. if I still care or not. It, it, I mean, it might be worth It might be worth at least having in your collection. I don't know. We'll see. It depends, you know? I will say I'm somewhat tempted to trade it in for credit and just go on my 360 and buy it digital instead. Because if I buy it on the 360, I also get it for the Xbox One. Do you? Yeah. Mm. 
which I didn't realize. I forgot about that. That's interesting. So I am tempted to do that because if I have to have a shitty game, I might as well have two of the shitty games. <laughs> For the same price. Yes, indeed. That's true. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're not... I guess I can't really say it's a shitty game, though. Because not yet. So far, you don't know it's, yet. it's enjoyable so far. That's what it comes down to, man. And then I, there's games that catch a bad. Ri- uh, hey, we all know about my stance on Duke Nukem Forever, so <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. I enjoyed it. I, I can confirm all. how ridiculous uh, Chapter Two starts, where you're at the funeral, and it's hold X to pay respects. I I saw the screenshot and I was just like, why? Which is hilarious. Why couldn't they just put hold X? Oh, I know. The fact that they actually had to put on the screen to pay respect, like, it's, I don't know. did you did you see Conan's uh, clueless gamer review of it? No, he's like, I don't want to pay respects. I'm just here for women. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but yeah, I have to look that it's up. It's obviously the source of much ridicule. With uh, the, I can only imagine the button to pay respects. I can only imagine at a fucking funeral. It's so dumb. How do you so pay respects dumb. at a funeral? <laughs> By pressing a button, obviously. That's exactly. Um, and then your your hand comes. It's not your stump hand. At the end, your- of, at the end of the first stage, your arm gets cut off by like a piece of metal, stray metal flying off of an exploding chopper. It's intense. Yeah, and then like your your one boss or whoever the captain, your commanding officer, whoever. I don't know if it's a, just one of your squad mates or the officer. He comes over and starts pulling you away to safety, and you just see your arm there with a trail of blood. That's intense. And then at the funeral, your arm's in a sling, and it's just a stump arm. Damn. Yeah. Major Nelson on the Xbox One actually uploaded the clip of him at the press button to pay respects, and I commented on the video, like, you should have used your stump arm, and it got so many likes already. (laughs) That's funny. I don't know, man. I, I'm interested to look at it, so don't don't be too hard on yourself. But yeah, I I fucking bought Call of Duty. Well, we'll get your we'll get your full um, report <sighs> once you play more of it. But which I don't know. If there's so much shit already out to play. Have you have you messed around with um, Sunset Overdrive at all? Oh yeah, I put. A I know lo- we I know we slightly talked about it last. I week. I talked about it last week, and I've played it more in the. F- in the week that's passed, mm-hmm. I haven't progressed the story at all. I've probably put a couple hours into just grinding around the city, murdering things. Oh, okay. Well, you said that it was kind of collectible heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm sure you're just yeah, doing that shit. So. Because you can unlock amps with different materials that you find around. There's like wads of toilet paper that are hanging on power lines. There's dirty shoes that are on power lines. Uh, there's balloons floating around. There's security cameras to shoot out. There's uh, neon signs to collect. I've just been sliding around murdering mutants and collecting shit that I come across. Cool. And I'm having a blast with it. Like, I don't need to play the story because huh. I'm still just having fun. <laughs> what's the um, What's the multiplayer in that like? Is it just drop I don't and know. drop I off? Haven't, I Co-op? haven't done it yet. Co-op or? I have okay. no idea. Okay. I've I've passed one of the areas that you could go to to start the online stuff. Uh, I don't think it's campaign. I think it's like online stuff, whether it's PvP or horde mode style stuff. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. I want to. It's just I, I'm not a big fan of playing with randoms. I'd rather party I mean, up and play with friends. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. And that's honestly one of the main reasons why I want to get a bone <laughs> is so that I can actually play with my friends because it's like I, you know, I played through Borderlands. I know you have Borderlands. I know you're not really enjoying it too much because you're playing I, as Claptrap. Well, not not just that, but I don't know. I I'm not really getting into it, dude. I I'm I, not a fan of the zero gravity or see, the I, low I gravity. Like it. I like it. I don't know. I dig it. I honestly, I think it's I think it's your character class, man. Maybe I know I mentioned it before, but like I finished Borderlands, um, and. Nisha's the shit. She's awesome. Like her, she is crazy fucking overpowered, crazy overpowered. Well, that, and then there's the fact that after you play Borderlands for so long, you're so overpowered. You have all these crazy ass weapons. Then you start a new character, and you're shit. 
Not necessarily. You are worthless. <laughs> Not necessarily, man. It all depends. And yeah. that's and that's the thing. I'm I would be fully like I would thoroughly enjoy playing through it again as another character. Well, let's And there's already like there's already um DLC announced that you could play as Handsome Jack, which is going to be fucking which which awesome. I'm tempted to do, but I I don't like buying just single Borderland stuff because I know There'll be the season pass has so much more. See, now but the, the funny the fact that the season pass includes characters this time really bugs me. I thought it doesn't include No, Handsome Jack is season pass. Really? Yes. I might pick up the season pass for that then. Yeah, because they've always done the characters separately and then the season pass was guaranteed to have four story content. content. Yeah. And now it's like the characters are included. And I think there's supposed to be two characters dlc yeah but aren't they still doing four campaign things no so far it's confirmed to one campaign mission in the uh season pass Hmm. they just guaranteed four dlc packs oh handsome jack is one of the four packs oh another character is a second of the four packs hmm so i don't know i think it could still be enjoyable I do. I, I love the Borderlands series. So I'm. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I love it too. It's just like if I had to rate the three games, Borderlands one is an eight. Like it was an awesome new IP, had some great ideas, but it needed to be refined. Borderlands two, nine and a half easily. Yeah. Because it just felt perfect, except for Roland dying, which I'm still pissed about. Yeah. And then this one. It's like a six for me so far. It just, really? it just, it doesn't feel fresh, dude. I don't know, man. Like, the, I don't, I don't understand why this game's getting such flack. Because you're not the only person that's told me that. I think a lot of people are seeing it as it's just more of the same, and they yeah, didn't really like, I mean, try like, to much, change anything. What much more can you really do with Borderlands? Like, what can you, what can you? Because th- there's I, little I don't stuff know. that they ended up adding, like even like the grinder, like that is awesome. Like it's essentially like a. Uh, it's like a Herodric cube for Borderlands, which is like, that's, I'm cool with it. Like, I think that was a really good addition. Um, I haven't even messed with the grinder yet. It's cool. I don't think I even got to the grinder. You didn't unlock it yet? Yeah, hey, probably so. not. Um, it just, it this one doesn't hold my interest like the others. I dug it. I Every single day when I got home, I'd at least play it for like maybe like a half an hour, or something like that. Well, let's make a, a date night and we'll figure something out. Yeah, I have to get a. We'll have to be on like Skype or something because I don't have a. Um, I don't have a headset. Didn't I give you one before? No, I bought one, but then I traded it in with my system because I, I was like, I gave you one before. Mm-mm. I've given out so I many. I think you mentioned. I, th- I think you've mentioned that you might have had one, but. Oh, can't you get one at the video game store for like a dollar? I have to look. <laughs> we, we might have them. Um, they they have to have some. Yeah, we might. I don't know. I'll have to see. I've had I've given out so many over the years because I have my Turtle Beach, so I right. never needed the standard ones. Right, and it, they just seem to come in everything. I always had headsets sitting around. See, I've actually I oh, I didn't even think about that. I have an extra network adapter that I could trade in too. Why do you have two? Because I thought the network adapter um, on mine was busted, but it's just yeah. really fucking slow for some reason. So, hmm. so I have a second one. I don't know how much those. Here, hold on, let's let's find out. Where's my phone? Are you gonna message Steve right now? No. Oh. Thought you were gonna get like an official amount for it. No, 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 no. Of no. course not. GameStop app away. Blah, 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 trade blah. trade values. Trades for a dollar, I'm sure. Accessories. 360. There's the white one. There's the black one. Trades in for thirteen dollars and twenty cents for with my pro member value. What? What headset are you looking at? No, the network adapter. Oh, to trade it in. I was thinking that you were looking up a value for a headset. No, I'm looking to to trade some stuff in that's all. 13 dot which i might i i actually have another controller that i might trade into because i have three i have three 360 controllers 
Nice. I have I have two that I have set up specifically for my console, and then I have one that I have for my PC. But because I have the actual like Microsoft network or yeah, Microsoft, you could just resync. I could it just resync time. it every time. So, um, I may. By the way, I wish I knew you were looking for one of the PC adapters because I would have sold you mine. I got it through Amazon. I used Trade Credit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because mine's hooked up, and I rarely play anything on my pc obviously right so you totally could have got that one off me my bird bird's the word i heard but yeah i just like i said i just i used okay like um, like, but yeah I, with the thing oh, over there because i was going to point to that and this hand wasn't i'm going to point with the microphone so you can't hear anything i say and then i'll just come back like nothing was wrong right anyway um because i like i said i picked that up with trade credit so i technically like didn't pay for it pay for yeah. it so yeah that's the only reason why i went that route so you're you're gonna end off paying off that wii u with like gamestop trade credit aren't you me i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's possible <laughs> i have no idea i'll have to make another i have to make a cd <laughs> I finished my three. I finished getting an expo. And now help me pay off my Wii U. Jesus. Speaking of music, are you going to uh, enter DOD this month? Batman month. I don't know. <laughs> you know like all the other months that you were definitely going to do a song for. I don't know. I actually have to finish a drum track for Corey. Still. My knee's been bothering me chop, too much. Chop, motherfucker. I know. I was actually going to work on it tomorrow. Hopefully. I was actually I was supposed to do it Monday, but I had recording with Seven Years Silent on Sunday, so my knee was really bothering me, so yeah. I didn't do it. Oh shit! There's a game that could be <clears throat> in your buy two get one free. What? Duck Dynasty, man. Nope. <laughs> nope. Shadow and Mordor. See, dude, fuck! I forgot about that one. God damn it, dude! All these people are saying, uh-huh, "There's no games on Xbox One." <laughs> Bullshit! There's oh no game, dude. There's too many. There definitely are too many. Fantasia. Yeah, but I'm not going to have it connect. But you'll get one eventually. Eventually, yeah. Eventually. With your Fuck, big man, dude, there's so much American peanut. There's so much that I want to pick up for that. Man. Fuck. I'm trying to recommend games on such a system that is pretty much killing it right now. Dude, they seem to be doing 50, everything the, right. And the $50 price drop. Like, dude, like, I don't yeah. understand. Oh, my God. Like... Uh, yeah, apparently, like nationwide, Xbox Ones are selling out. This sun- Sunset Overdrive bundle is near impossible to get anymore. They're like completely gone. I wonder if I'm going to have a hard time getting the the Assassin's Creed one. I think the Assassin's Creed one is officially their holiday bundle. Okay, so they'll probably be a lot easier to find. I fucking, it's hope not so. like there's anything special about that one as, besides coming with the two digital games, right? Or and they're you, digital games, so yeah. They shouldn't even care. Yeah. Or if, um, or if you get the Connect bundle, it also comes with Dance Central. So three games. No. Hey, it's a third game. No. Third game. No. My the you, you're in my apartment. You know how big it is. Dance Central is not going to work. Hey, you know how much room we have from our TV stand to the couch. Yeah, you have more. Not really. Totally. No, not really. <laughs> Yeah. Like it barely registers me for Fantasia. Like I either need to be sitting down or standing with my legs pressed up against the couch. I'd probably have to move my futon. I don't <laughs> like, think you would. I really don't think you would. I think it would. I don't I think, think so. I don't think so. Mother- Dude, there's too many games. There's too many games. There are way <sighs> too many games. There's too many. Dude, I want to play Shadows of Mortar so bad, too. And this month. Oh, my God, this month. Fuck, man. Oh, my God, this month. I'm going to have a really... All right. Email assignment. Zach. Zach. Randall. Maybe Grant, if he's listening. He listens, but he doesn't contribute. Yeah. Um, well, except that for that theme song, he contributed that. Well, yeah, but he doesn't email. I should uh, use I should use Kunal's old song this week, just so saying, oh, that song, and it's not even his. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, we need Kunal on. I soon. want I want email responses at the smlspodcast dot com dot com. 
the SML podcast at gmail.com. Um, I want email responses on what three games do you think I would have to pick up? Not counting Assassin's Creed because that's probably going to be the, the system that I would pick up. Yeah. So I want three games. If you Assassin's had to buy two, Creed get one. Unitity. <laughs> Unitity. Yes. Um, Just if, one titty if I, in the middle. If, if you had a buy two, get one free coupon used, which there should be cop- pretty much used copies of it, pretty much everything now. Probably. People trade in anything now. Everything. Um, so what three games would you suggest? DSML podcast at gmail.com. Jamail. Jamail. Jamail at jamal.com. Speaking of trading stuff, I had a bunch of stuff I was going to trade in to GameStop and going through their app. I'm like, wow, these prices are like shit. Dog shit. And then I I looked up on Best Buy and before the 50% bonus they're doing now, Best Buy was giving more for nearly everything. And don't do you get extra trade credit because you have the gamer thing? Like an extra ten percent on top of that. Damn. I traded in games. I did the math. GameStop would have paid like a dollar or a hundred and twenty bucks. I got three thirty from Best Buy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like when a game at GameStop is gonna give you like twenty four bucks <coughs> and after the fifty percent bonus, uh Best Buy is giving you forty two. Where would you go? That's insane, yeah. dude. So if you're trading stuff from now on, I would cross check yeah. the values. Now like, that's that's store credit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't give cash. It's all credit. But with so much shit coming out, like that that trade that's credit true. right there that bought the blue Xbox One controller, mm-hmm. it got me the Attitude Era Volume 2 Blu-ray, which just came out this week. Uh, which, not to mention that blue... That blue controller is Best Buy exclusive. Yep. And it's sexy as hell. Yeah, that thing looks awesome. It got me 25 bucks Xbox credit, and it's nearly going to completely pay off the Assassin's Creed Unity and Far Cry 4 Collector Editions. Damn. I'll be like 10 bucks short. Damn. That's pretty good, actually. That's and I, th- really good. I, think, I think it was 24 games I traded in. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Here's how crazy their trade values are. Like, what would you expect to get for uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen Lightning Returns? Uh, when when did that come out? Like spring, maybe earlier. I don't know, ten bucks. Eighteen. Jeez. GameStop was going to give me four seventy five. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, now. Ride to Hell Retribution. I don't know, like a hay penny. Seven fifty. What the? F- what the fuck? Yeah. We sell it for like five. Yeah. Seven fifty. What the fuck? Trading. Seriously? Five dollar base value plus fifty percent. What the fuck? Plus another ten percent, so it's probably eight something. Dude, I might have to eight get bucks. some. I might have to get some shitty games to give to you to trade in, so that I might be able to get that fucking controller. <laughs> Do it up here. I don't have the card. That's only an extra ten percent. Yeah, that's true. The fifty percent is for pretty much anyone. Huh? Yeah. And people are dying on the bed. The uh, bed's comfy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy, huh? Wow. I'm really surprised by that. Mm-hmm. So was I. Because I was, I was picking everything out, stacking it, keeping track of the values. Like, man, this just isn't much for these games. Yeah. And then I checked Best Buy. And when I saw that one game alone could get me 20 extra dollars at Best Buy. That's insane. I looked up That's all the values. fucking and crazy. Everything. What the fuck are they going to do with ride, to, like ride to hell? I don't care. It's not my problem anymore. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Seven fifty. I'm gonna have to look those up, man. Yeah, think of that shit. Holy sh! Like that's blown my mind right now. Yeah, like what? What are you looking to trade in? 
Um, as you <laughs> here, here's a here's a stupid one. It can't it can't be too much of a difference on this. Um, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. How about that? Uh, my my iPad needs connection again. I'm gonna look it up on the GameStop app, and we will compare. We will compare notes. Which, by the way, I started Mortal Kombat. Um, and, and how's your progress going? Uh, you know, I I haven't I haven't gotten too far in it, so I'm you know I'm not. I just started the camp the campaign. I think I'm at Scorpion when you have to fight Cyrex and Sector by yourself, which is bullshit. By the way, I forgot about that. I forgot there's some really shitty parts in the campaign that are very very difficult. <laughs> You're a campaign. I am actually. Sometimes. Um, so GameStop pro member value trading credit seven dollars and seventy cents. Yeah, about the same. Same. Yep, that makes sense. Because it's an older game. Yeah, but still, Ride to. I think Ride to Hell is the one that's fucking pulling me for a loop more than anything. <laughs> that like that's seriously blowing my mind right now. Yeah. What about uh? What about GTA? What about GTA Five? Because I have a three sixty version of GTA Five. I know GameStop doesn't do much on that at all. Do, 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 I think they might do, they might do like ten bucks maybe. Um, let's see here. Let's get your result. I'm still typing Grand Theft Auto Five. Eight dollars and eighty cents. That's with my now. Again, this is with my. That's with the bonus. With the bonus. Base value, fourteen. Plus seven bucks, twenty one. What the fuck? Plus ten percent, another dollar forty. So twenty two forty. I might give that to you to trade in for me. Wait, I, I mean, what? It's only going to give me another dollar forty. Maybe I'll have to trade it in there. Maybe I can get that fucking controller. Actually, maybe. What else, buddy? <laughs> uh, that's really all I would want to get rid of that I have on me right now. <laughs> oh, what about a controller? about that do they do hardware or do they I, do i don't know weren't you considering uh trading your 3ds smash to go digital instead maybe but i don't want to go without it 30 bucks oh fuck yeah 20 base add well the, add the 50 oh hold on let's see let's see what smash does at. so technically 32 for the most part let's see what super smash brothers does for the 3ds 2750 five bucks more 250 huh you'd get 32 oh that's right yeah hmm crazy huh gamestop is uh losing ground in the whole trading stuff holy shit man yeah see the thing that kind of bums me out yeah. is just the fact that like like even for 360, like I think a controller only gets you like ten bucks. Yeah, I I don't know if you could look up controllers on here. Eleven, yeah, I'd, I'd get eleven for a controller at, at GameStop. So, hmm, ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Was it Evil Within for the 360s? Like guaranteed twenty five bucks right now or something? Or guaranteed thirty. Yeah, I don't think I'm just trying to. I'm looking over there. I don't think I have anything else. Well, I'm I'm just giving a comparison. Like, the what about within. what about three D? What about three DS games? I think like like something stupid like uh, um, the Street Fighter one. I know that they they probably paid dog shit on that at, at GameStop. Like that's got to be fucking terrible at GameStop. Yeah, it's a dollar at Best Buy. Oh, I I should be able to get more than that at fucking at GameStop actually. Um, let's see here. Street Fighter. This has got to be riveting entertainment. I don't even care. <laughs> don't even care. You're but, on. You're on my time, people. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that 
GameStop is doing a guaranteed 30 bucks on the Evil Within, which just came 440. out. 440. Ooh. But Evil Within just came out. Yeah. And they're doing a guaranteed 30 for the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. Base? Yes. Ooh. That's GameStop. They're doing a guaranteed 30. Okay. Evil Within, Xbox 360, Best Buy, Base 27. So you would get... Add 50%. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So that's 40 bucks. Damn. Minimum. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, I think I'm done trading stuff to GameStop. Holy shit. Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess word to the wise to our listeners out there, I guess. Yeah. Check, check your... Check around. Check Amazon. Check Best Buy. You could check Best Buy prices online. They even have an app on the iPad now. Look around. Don't settle for GameStop. <laughs> huh. Ain't, I, th- ain't that some shit. I was kind of sad because uh, we had the Lords of the Fallen Collector's Edition ordered, and it got delayed. Yeah. So we just bought Lords of the Fallen and figured, oh, well, if uh, if the game that comes with the Collector Edition is the same, is just, the same yeah. we'll just return it. And I was under the impression that it wasn't the same, so I tried trading the game into uh, Best Buy, but it wasn't in their system for trade-in yet. Oh. So I just went home with it because uh, I think GameStop was like 27 for something not even a week old. Right. Like not even a week old. Yeah. Uh, the collector edition came in on yesterday, on Tuesday, and same as the store version. So oh. returned it on my way up here, and that paid off Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Holy shit. Rock on. Well, huh? maybe I'll be able to get that other controller then. That would be kind of nice. Maybe. Look around. See what you can trade. Lesson to all you chillins out there. Yeah. So, what are you playing? Well, I finished Borderlands. Um, I started up Mortal Kombat. Um, that's really been it. I mean, I, I, I want to I wanna work on Mortal Kombat a little bit more. I think I, I kind of want to... I want to start Darksiders so I can finish yeah. the first one so that I can play the second one since I got the second one for free. I missed out on that by a day. Really? I what, forgot about what's it. What's the game now? Dark Side. Uh, God, what is the free game right now? I don't remember. I'll have, to, I'll have to turn my system on when you're heading out. I'm going to have to look this shit up because I'm too dumb. That's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> we forgive you. <laughs> I have to take a drink but of water. What else? Um... <laughs> Doodle jump oh God. on my phone. Okay, you don't have to tell us what else. Uh, the free game right now, Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise. I like Viva Pinata. This is the second one. Is it still like the first one? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah, that's free until the 16th, and then it's Red Faction Gorilla. Wah. Really? Gorilla was awesome. That was like the open world one where you could destroy everything. Oh, I'm thinking of Armageddon. Yeah, Armageddon was the... Eh. Okay. I don't think I played Gorilla. Gorilla's awesome. Is it? And Vert did music on it. Sweet. And I'll get it for free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you will. Cool. Um, hmm. Well, son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, for me this week, it's pretty much just been more of the same. Some Lords of the Fallen here, some Sunset Overdrive there. Yeah. A sprinkle of Diablo when I can. Uh, I'm so proud of you. For, I'm so proud of you for playing <laughs> Diablo. I'm, I can't wait to play Diablo with you, Joe. I really can't. I'm trying to think what my, my hardcore monk is up to. I want to say like maybe the high 40s, low 50s. We'll be able to play hardcore. Dude, I'm only doing one hardcore character. That's mm. it. I'm like when this character hits level 70 and I beat the campaign, I'm done with it because I don't have the stress level for hardcore. Oh, dude, I could I've get been you playing listen, on normal. Listen, listen, you give me like a week to get a hardcore character up and your character dies. I can get you up to 70 in like two hours. <laughs> like that's that's I, I just 
I would rather just play normal and not have to worry about, oh, the monsters hit me with ice nine times in a row and I couldn't get out of the way and they killed me. But you'd have black up. Black up? Yeah. I'd be your black up. So racist. Oh, no. <laughs> You're incorrect, sir. What else have you been playing? <sighs> I dabble in Project Spark. Try to do it every day. Yeah. I thought for sure that I was going to get the 14-day achievement, and I must have missed one somewhere. Oh, no. Because the achievement progress just stopped at 92%. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um so I've been trying again every day and I don't I don't know. Yeah. As as I don't know. I, and then of course I dabbled in fucking cod. Cod bro. Cod bro. Cod bro. Um Cod oh. I know that I know that this isn't video game related, but some some of our listeners may be interested in this. Um I did end up buying uh the new at the gates album. I spent money on that. That was the that was the last thing I actually spent like spent money on. Um, I got the new At the Gates album. I got the limited edition, so I got this. I got this patch. Where is it? This one. That one. I got that patch for free. Okay, which is cool. Um, I love At the Gates, so I was really excited about that. Um, I got a free copy. I got a free download copy of the new Psycho Stick album, and it's fucking amazing. Um, I think it's my new favorite Psycho Stick album. Like to date, it's it's fucking fantastic. I don't even I don't I don't even fucking care. Um, we're actually supposed to go and see them in Reading, um, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. Nice. So that should be a lot of fun. And um, what was it? Metal Metal Injection is uh streaming the new Job for a Cowboy CD that just came out yesterday. Not into them. Um. I I love them. Uh, the new album is fucking incredible. I tried listening to them once, and it's <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, their uh, their new album sounds fucking incredible. Um, definitely, definitely my contender for album of the year, even over Slipknot, because the Slipknot, the new Slipknot album is fucking gold. It's great. It's really, really good. Um. But yeah, man, this this new job for a cowboy CD is fucking incredible. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, so yeah, that's. I mean, I had to report some because that's really the only thing I've been doing. I, I haven't really been playing too many games. I've been listening to a lot of music. So, the world will never see another crazy motherfucker like you. It's true. It's true. Thank God. It's true. <laughs> um. But yeah, so if you're into music, you should totally pick up the new Psycho Stick album because it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> I'd say honestly, like if you know, if you want, if wanna, you're into music, if you know what music is, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't care what you normally listen to. Pick up Psycho Stick's new album because <laughs> it's fucking awesome. It's so good. Um, my personal favorites are so heavy. Um, uh, NSFW. Um. The one about the ducks. <laughs> I, 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 I forget what the fuck it's called. I wish that's the title of it. The, the one, one about, about the, the ducks. ducks. Um, yeah, dude, dude oh, the whole Lord. album is so good. Video that games. and uh, and Bruce Campbell. Video games. So, yeah, there was one up about the blue screen of death. It was about his oh, computer God. crashing. So I guess it's technically kind of on point. Like it's technically on subject. Because well, could be they did have break, so. some songs in rock band when. Rock Band Network was still going. It's very true. Uh, speaking of music games, Rocksmith just came out for next gen this week. PS4, Xbone. Yep. Very cool. I still want to pick that up. That's going to be one that I end up trying to pick up for next gen as well. <laughs> I want to. I just don't know if it'll be worth the money. But there's so many songs. I'm like, oh, I would love to play that. I'd love to play that. I would love I, to play that. It, yeah. And then I pick up a guitar and I like fart with I, my fingers. I fart with my fingers. Um, I think before you invest into it, I will get my hands on it and tell you if I think it would be worth you picking up because I know your, um, like I know that you have a good sense of rhythm. Obviously, with the rock band stuff, it just 
comes down to if I think it would be a my fat fucking fingers. If it would be a substantial learning device. Yeah. You know. Well, Rocksmith is supposedly all about learning. Right. And that's so. what I'm curious about too, because I mean like like I'm a good guitar player, but I'm not when it comes to soloing, I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> I mean like I just I have a real hard time like coming up with solos. Yeah. So if I can go in there and if there's something for someone on my level that can, that can learn from it, then fucking absolutely, man, like go for it. But I think, but in, in the non guitar realm, uh, rumors are floating around next year, possible or 2016 return of guitar hero. I'd play it. There, I would, I would a, play apparently it. some studio in London like they kept having different people come in every day, usually the same people every day and just with different clothing, like different outfits. And finally the one person just casually mentioned that they were part of live crowd scenes for a new guitar hero game. That's rumor. Don't know if it's true or not, but, uh, that could be pretty live, awesome. If it happens, crowd scene. that'd be fucking cool. Mm hmm. Hmm. Apparently the one day, like all the people came in dressed up emo style. <laughs> so if, if that's true, Dude, maybe, maybe this will cool. light a fire under Harmonix's ass to get Rock Band 4 out. Rock Band 4. Because if I had to choose between Guitar Hero 7 and Rock Band 4. Uh, Rock Band Rock 4 Band. all the way. All the way. Absolutely. All the way. Um, what, are the, what are the updates on Amplitude? I don't know yet. Still, it's still working on it. Okay. I don't think we'll see it anytime soon. Okay. Hokey dokey. Uh, another rumor that I saw earlier today, which might intrigue some people, if there's any kind of validity to it at all, uh -huh. supposedly in March, a beta for the division. <laughs> Xbox One beta. I need it. I need it. And the rumor continues oh God, I need it. that the game will hit first on Xbox One. I need it. Which would be pretty nuts. I need it in my life. I cannot wait for that fucking game. I just dude. hope the game has. I don't care if any system gets it exclusive first. I just want the game to happen. Yeah. As long as the game happens, I'm hopefully be happy. more in line with like what they showed. <laughs> yes. Because look at Watch Dogs and how that turned out. I still want to give it a try. As much mm. shit as that game gets, I still want to give it a try. I think you'd be better off trying something else first, but probably Dead Rising Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, honestly like or Grand Theft Auto, which is basically what Watch Dogs yeah, is. Yes, that's, that's true. I don't know, dude. There's too many games. Yeah, yeah, there are. Oh, there's too many games. <laughs> so next time people are like, uh, <laughs> Xbox has no games. No, there's way too many. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You had to wait a year because that's pretty much how every system is ever. Uh -huh. Fucking Christ. And Sony can't get their shit together <laughs> to fucking release the game that was supposed to come out at launch. Yeah. The By the way, still haven't played Drive Club. The PS4 version Shocked. has or the PS Plus version has been postponed indefinitely. <laughs> and supposedly to make up for it next month on, on December for PlayStation Plus, one of the games is going to be Injustice. I thought you were going to say Need for Speed Rival. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> but no, that they're, they're calling Injustice a AAA retail title. It's it's a retail title, sure. AAA. It is technically AAA. It's a year old. It's still technically AAA, though. It's a fighting game which isn't the most popular genre in the world it's it's a port from last generation there's a really good one though i i i wouldn't call it triple a i would i would call it an a double a maybe <laughs> double maybe double like a dead rising is triple a maybe like fours is a triple a kill zone was triple a like infamous triple a like but injustice like d batteries C batteries? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Double A's? Double A. Okay. We'll do double A's. Okay. We'll say I, I just A's. don't see Injustice as a triple A game. Hey, man, I wouldn't complain about getting Injustice for free. 
No, I won't complain I mean, about it, getting it free. Yeah, but. I mean that's that's definitely that's definitely a game that I would be excited to get for free. It's been yeah. a while since. I mean, now granted, I haven't had gold for a while, and I do only have a 360. Um, it's been a while. While since. you're at it, you should probably purchase the stuff that's free on games with gold for for the Xbox One. I can do that on the website. That's right. You yeah. won't have to show me that when we get when we're off air. I think you need to have a credit card on file so it could charge for a free game. I don't think but, I have one. Like it doesn't need to have anything on it because nothing gets charged. That's true. Well, then I, I might be able to link one then. But yeah, unfortunately, the website still doesn't let you use your actual Microsoft balance. Weird. To pay for nothing. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. That's that's strange. Because I do have Microsoft Balance too. I forgot about that. Yeah. Because I like, bought. I've, it's. I think it's from when they switched over from points to the real money. They just oh, didn't figure everything out there yet, and they yeah. don't care enough. Meh. Because you could just buy it on your console. Yeah, it's well, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. not until you get one. So until I get one, I can't. Yeah. So, but you should still pick them up while you can online possibly you could get volgar the viking and i what the hell is, i think chariot is still free okay i All think right. they finally dropped crimson dragon after four months being free uh, thank god yeah because no one wanted to see that back again well well you you got it <laughs> um that's a thing yeah it's a shame that you didn't get a Sunset Overdrive console or... I know. Because have you heard about what's going on with Sunset Overdrive bundle owners? No. Getting free copies of Rise. What the fuck? Xbox just emails them a token. It's like, thanks for buying the Sunset Overdrive bundle. What the fuck? Enjoy Rise for free. I still think the value's in, in, the, in, the, in the Assassin's Creed bundle, though. Probably. <clears throat> who knows that's cool. i mean that that's cool that they're doing that though so that's that's jesus christ it's just the two of us and it's been an hour 40 yep god damn and again half that time was spent just looking up shit on gamestop and that's Best true what's this people, game i don't know I'll look. some people want to know that stuff nah i wanted to do it <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck M- music uh well since Dale wasn't able to join us we might as well play his music we could do that so some Del Norte <laughs> Del Norte Del Norte um final words uh Drive Club <laughs>
Shut